Mark, Chris, congratulations. The strength of your weapons has carried you into the final round of this competition. Now we're sending you back to your home fortress to recreate an iconic weapon from history. That weapon is the Tabar Shispar. Good luck, Bladesmiths. We'll see you in five days. Good luck. I have to build this Tabar Shispar. I have never made a bludgeoning weapon. Today, I'm gonna work on the shaft of this weapon. I have material, but I don't think it's quite tough enough, so I'm gonna get another one inside of it to make sure that it can stand any challenge that they give me. A little bit heavier, but I think the judges are up to that challenge. I've forged the handle areas into my shaft. The whole shaft is as straight as I can make it, so we'll get ready to heat treat this. I've never quenched a hollow tube before. Kids, don't try this at home. That was exciting. It's like Mount Vesuvius exploding. It's kind of fun to watch, but a little bit scary, too. There is our hardened tube of 1084 steel. I got a lot of work done, but I've got a lot of work still ahead of me. I got all the forging done, everything forged into rough shape. The first step today is get the parts of the mace cut to shape. So far, so good. The five pieces have to be consistent, so when you look at that mace, everything's perfect. All in a row. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm ahead of schedule. Finally done with shaping. Now it's time to heat treat. What could go wrong? All the work so far is coming down to this step. If I don't get this right, the rest of the time will have been for nothing, really. OK, axe head's going in. I got the heat treating done. I couldn't be happier. I feel like I'm a bit ahead of my game. Yesterday, I forged out my Tabar axe, as well as the flanges. Today, I need to do all my heat treating, and that's really important. Grab my wire and do all these together. And then do the axe, because I want to be a little more careful with it. I need to focus on not making mistakes. Without the heat treat, I don't have a weapon. Despite all the work I've done, nothing matters until this thing comes out of that oil looking happy. It's an axe. I'm feeling really good. I got my flanges heat treated, I got the axe heat treated, and tomorrow I can work on assembly. I will be spending a lot of time on the grinder today. It's time to start grinding things to shape. So we're cruising downhill from here. Yeah. For three days, I was thinking, everything is going too darn smooth. Something's going to happen, and it did. I found two cracks. Right now, I'm looking at two options. I can try and make this one work or start over and make a new one. I may be able to save this blade. I'm going to cut this out right like this. I could cut around the first crack and grind out the one on the top. I'm not taking any chances with this. I don't want to have it fail on me. So I'm going to give this thing the toughest test that I could give it. I think it'll be good. Bladesmiths, the Tabar Shishbar is one weapon with multiple personalities. To see what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, I will take your Tabar Shishbar and use both ends to deliver killing blows on this ballistic dummy. Mark, you're up first. You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's see it. Omar, it is sharp. That chopped right into the chest cavity, breaking a bone. This ax dug in and gutted him. Your mace definitely will crush. You can see the breaking bones inside. Your weapon will kill. Hey, you. Chris, you ready? I am. Oh my gosh, 
into the lung, into the heart. Your mace definitely penetrated through the skull. Bones are broken. I don't think it's gonna end well. Your weapon is heavy, and I'm not a fan of heavy weapons, only because you have to carry it to battle. But overall, it will kill. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, this is the sharpness test. The Tabar only has one sharp area, which is the ax head. So I'll strike into the side of beef six times with each of your axes. Mark, you're up first. Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Your weapon's nice and light for a weapon that looks as heavy as this is. You can see that this just went right through the ribs. This is definitely a cutter. Good job. Thank you. Chris, you ready? Let's do it. Yeah. weight difference. I mean, this thing hits like a ton. These hooks tear meat coming out the back way. Your edge, there's no damage that I can feel. It's heavy, but uh, it does a hell of a lot of damage. Nicely done. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, this is the strength test. Now, to test the strength and durability of your Tabar shish bars, I'll be using all parts of it to strike this suit of armor. Mark, you're up. You ready? Yes, I am. Let's see it. Edge is still perfect. No chips, no rolling. Well, the hammer gave that armor a nice dent, didn't take any damage. Mace is fine. The guy inside there was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, you ready for this? Don't hold back. <laughs> I'm not going to. This is a heavy weapon. Yeah. I mean, I can control it, but I don't have any rebound. And you got just the smallest bit of edge deformation here. Other than that, Mace is a devastator. You made a beautiful piece. Thank you. I hope the judges appreciate the devastation my weapon's capable of bringing. It's hard to say who's going to win. Bladesmiths, the judge's deliberation is complete. And there can only be one Forged and Fire champion. And that champion is. Mark, congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champion. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Chris, your blade did not make the cut. David Baker will explain. Chris, Doug and I both agree that the extreme weight of your weapon made it difficult to control. And frankly, I'm still feeling it in my arm. That combined with that minor edge damage you took in the strength test, those are the reasons we're letting you go. Understood. Chris, it's that time. Please surrender your weapon. Ah! <laughs> I just... <sighs> I think I put up the best I was capable of in the time that I was given. See you later, buddy. Congratulations. Mark did good work, and his was just a little bit better. Mark, congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champion and will be receiving a check for $10,000. Good job. How do you feel right now? I feel great. Chris, a hell of an opponent. 
I'm glad it went to the very end. I wanted to see a real competition. Mark, please present your weapon to the judges and shake our hands. I won. I am the champion. Whew. Unbelievable. I just won $10,000. My wife and I, we made a deal. She gets $9,000, and I get $1,000. So congratulations, dear.